it's just before 11 a.m. on Sunday the 19th. We are headed out for a walk after chores and coffee with, you know, not Job over there, not Bob, the dog. Um, <laughs> it's not raining. It's not super dark out, although there is supposedly a storm, another storm coming. So we'll get some steps in while we can. And yeah, all right, I'll be back. And yes, I know I look slouchy, but you know what? I'm good with it, I don't care. My hair is still wet, but that's all right. I'll be back. Good afternoon. It's 12.39 p.m. just after lunch on Monday, November 19th, 20th, 19th 20th. something like that. Anyway, it's, it's the Monday before Thanksgiving. Um, Mr. Bob's not feeling 100%. He's uh, coming down with a cold, I think. Um, so we're going to run some errands that we have to. He's going to stay away from people as much as he can. Store. Yeah, we have to go to the grocery store. Um, anyway, we're uh, um, he's driving me to go pick up some free yarn. He's going to stay in the car. I'm going to go get that. We're going to run errands that have to be done. And then if we do Thanksgiving this week or not, will depend on how everybody is doing, including him, because other members of the family are also not feeling well. No, it's not the big C. Um, it's just a cold. That doesn't mean we want to spread it around. I'm not babysitting tomorrow because we don't want to give it to the grandson and his mom is one of the ones that's already not feeling good. So yeah, anyway, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah, so anyway. All right, we're gonna go get it done. I'll be back. Morning, everybody. It is early, it's November 21st, uh, 8.44 a.m. Yeah, sounds right. Um, Bob, Mr. Bob is still not feeling well, but he had an appointment this morning. Uh, so he's off doing that. Uh, nothing medical. He's off getting the oil changed in the car. He didn't want to put it off. He actually is feeling a little bit better, but sounding a whole lot worse. So I don't know how that's going to go. Anyway, he's off doing that. I'm going to edit the vlog and do my scheduled posts for the first of December for Facebook and Patreon while he's gone. So get that done. And yeah, later today, I think I'm gonna have a little chat with my dear friend, Leslie McGrath. And <sighs> it's gonna be a chill day at home because Mr. Bob's not feeling good, but that's okay. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I got the vlog edited. It's loading right now and scheduling for tomorrow morning. Um, I got the patron uh, and supporter post um, that they get once a month from me over in Patreon uh, scheduled for the 1st of December. And I also got my Facebook group, which I've had for a really long time now. I'm just realizing um, there's a post that goes up there once a month and that is going up and scheduled too. So I think once the video is loaded, I can actually turn the computer off. Yay! <laughs> and go downstairs, take this off my head, and maybe try to finish my sock this morning. And then when Bob gets back, we'll see how he's feeling. So, all right, I'll, I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so. This week hasn't exactly gone to plan. Um, Bob is sick. He's been sick for at least three days with a fever, congestion, cough. Pretty sure it's a cold and not strep or anything or the big C, but yeah, if his fever doesn't break today, I told him, you know, 
you might be headed to urgent care. You might have no choice because your might your wife might drag you. I just um, I don't have a fever or anything. I do have a cough and some congestion. Not unusual for me, so it's hard for me to tell if I'm getting sick or not. Um, again, I don't have a fever. Um, I did kind of have a headache today, so that's different. So probably I'm coming, whatever he's got, he's shared it. So, you know, and of the two kids households, one of them is also sick. So, and it happens to be daughter, son-in-law and baby junior and daughter and baby junior are both sick. Yay. Well, son-in-law also has symptoms similar to me, no fever, but a scratchy coffee throat. So yeah, I think we're postponing Thanksgiving, uh, probably for a week, but we'll see. And yeah, Bob is napping on the couch right now. I expect him to be there most of the day. I've just gone ahead and just braided my hair. I've done nothing else to it. And yes, I literally, that's all the hair I have. I know it looks puffier, but I really don't have that much hair. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sit and work on my latest Afghan and yeah. You just got to roll with the punches life gives you sometimes, right? Okay, I'll be back. I'm short walk to the mailbox and go get the mail. Mr. Bob is not doing super well. He's got a fever. And um, he's doing a little better than he was first thing this morning, but yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I'm making progress on my current afghan. I'm working on. It's a combination of double crochet and front, po front post, back post, double crochet. And it's all done in a square from the center out. And I'm using red heart ombre. So I'll put a picture here somewhere with however far I've gotten at the moment. All right, let me get the mail. I'll be back. So Bob finally shared all of his germs with me and my cough and scratchy throat turned into a fever. And yeah, I'm laying on the sofa. <laughs> I am doing some crocheting when I'm feeling up to it, but yeah, this is Thanksgiving day. It's just the two of us. The One of the other three households is also sick, although they're, I think, feeling better than we are. They're also a lot younger, so um, yeah. So happy Thanksgiving. We're going to be postponing with the kids for probably about a week. So, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> I'll be back. Hey, guys. It is um, after 3.30 p.m. on Friday the 24th. As you can hear in my voice, Bob and I are still sick. He's had a pretty significant fever for a few days now. So, we're headed to the after hours clinic in a bit. And we're going to both get checked out because whatever he's got, I've got, I'm not as sick as he is, but I mean, yeah. Anyway, uh, the kids brought us over one care package earlier, Jenny and the kids, Jenny and Brian, they brought us over some snacks and some meds. And then if we need prescriptions picked up, the other kids just messaged me and said, let us know because we'll go get them. So yeah. Meanwhile, Mr. has taken a nap before we go see a doctor, I guess. This isn't how I expected my weekend to go at all. We're supposed to be putting up Christmas trees right now. Yeah, that's not happening. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so we're leaving the urgent care. Guess who has the vid? The vid. Yeah, Mr. Bob caught it somewhere and shared with me. Well, maybe I got it from you. I doubt it you got sick first. <laughs> no, I just, I'm just more sensitive. Uh huh. <laughs> anyway, we're on the tail end. We didn't have a fever when we went in, despite the fact that we really haven't taken any medicine most of the day, not since this morning. So that's a good sign. And as, unless we pop into another temperature, um, we're done with our quarantine, um, which we did anyway. But um, and if we're around other people this next week, we have to wear a mask. After that, we're clear unless we get more sick. So anyway, yay. <laughs> I can no longer say I've never had it. Nice. I'll be back. Still on the couch because we've got the vid. So, you know, 
We got the vid. We got the vid. So when we still thought we just had a cold, we did go out to a couple places, but we weren't really feeling good. So we sort of self-quarantined without thinking about it because we didn't feel, we felt like crap. I guess it's a good thing we did that. Anyway, his quarantine is up today. Mine is up tomorrow because we're about a day apart. But if we go out in public, we still have to wear masks. Um, if we feel up to it, we might go for a drive tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I understand from friends who've had the vid that the fatigue and uh, congestion, which you can probably hear, lasts a while after the fever and stuff goes away. Yay. Yeah, that's the worst part, the the uh, congestion and just the fatigue. And the fatigue. Oh, oh my God. I'm just, we're, we're exhausted. I'm just sitting here crocheting on my Afghan. It, we can't even get off the couch. No. It's like we're stuck to it. It's can't just, I'm glued to the sofa. Yeah, and yeah. I am naturally, I mean, I'm the lazy crafter. I tell you all that. And it's kind of a joke, but this is ridiculous. I'm just so tired. Um, I am working on this Afghan. I have gotten asked by a couple people about it. I'm going to print, uh, type up the pat the pattern that I've done for this. It is one I made up up here um, for patrons and supporters. It's not expensive. It's only a couple, a couple bucks a month. So the link is down in the video description if you want things like copies of patterns like this. I don't write them often, but yeah. Um, so I guess... Yeah, I've got crocheting I can do and all of that stuff. I'm not super hungry. And Bob's had problems with an upset stomach. And I haven't told him this before now today, but I've had problems with my stomach just not wanting me to eat anything on and off today. I think he kind of knew that, but yeah. Yeah, well, there were days I didn't want to eat either. Yeah, so, so. it just sucks. Anyway. Don't have Christmas decorations up. Didn't do Thanksgiving. I mean, you know, it's just going to be one of those times. What are you going to do? It's in the freezer. It's in the freezer. We might end up having it for a Christmas dinner. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll keep you all posted on what happens no, next. I'll cut, in, I'll cut one in half. Okay. Hey, guys, it's Sunday evening. It's about 6 o'clock. As you just heard, Mr. is trying to cook us some food. And as you can hear from my voice, yes, we're still sick. We've ended our five days of uh, quarantine, not seeing anybody today. Tomorrow, we still have to be cautious for another five days where if we see people, we have to have a mask on. Um, but I can tell besides the congestion, which is easing, by the way, my throat feels better and that I'm still sick. I noticed last night that brushing my teeth Oh my God, the toothpaste tastes terrible. Not the toothpaste tastes great, but I normally don't hate the taste of mint. But oh my God, and then the mouthwash was worse. It tastes like rusty metal. Uh, other things taste okay, but our stomach is a little bit unsettled. I'm not nauseous exactly, but food just doesn't sound good. Um, so we're kind of making ourselves eat. But anyway, it's just been a long day of the same old thing um, on the sofa. Although we talked about if we feel good, let's go for a drive. We don't have to see anybody. We can just be in the car. We didn't do that. We're just, yeah. But I've been working on the Afghan project that I'm doing for Bob. I've started the last color around the edging. It, it's the only thing I feel like doing. So I'm kind of glad I at least feel like doing that. Um, I will probably post something later on social media. Maybe, maybe I won't post it until I put something back on there. Um, but if you're watching this and you do follow me on social media, you know that I've been doing daily drawing picks almost every day for a very long time, multiple years. And in the past week, you haven't seen hardly any because I've been sick. I haven't touched this in quite a while. So... Maybe this week, if I do start feeling better, which I'm supposed to, I have no fever, haven't had a fever since Friday, um, I can catch up on that and prep the December journal because I haven't done that either. I was going to do that this last week, but, you know, Christmas decorations aren't up, Christmas cards aren't ready, kids didn't come over, none of it. Because, you know, we have the vid. So, 
yeah. I know. He yeah. had he had to share. He loves me so much. He had to share. <laughs> All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be okay, back. Okay, you guys. Yes, I'm upstairs in the art room. I can't say I'm gonna get anything done, but yes, I did make it up the stairs. Still sick. Still with the vid. Um. No fever still since Friday. Congestion is easing. Throat's feeling better. Um, extreme fatigue is a thing. Like, it's so hard to just even make it up the stairs. And we were warned by a couple of people, including the doctor, about uh, periodic bouts of dizziness, being out of breath um, as part of the weakness. That's really a thing. Um, I also have periodic bouts of clamminess, even though I have no fever. And um, just and no appetite. I've lost five pounds. So... <sighs> yeah. Anyway, I'm going to plug my tablet in and let it charge. Turn on some YouTube, I guess. And the only thing I have the energy to do is crochet on that blanket, I think. I need to edit the vlog. I need to... I need to do a lot of things, but I don't have the energy, and I don't know if they're going to get done in time. There might be no vlog this coming week. I might have to post something. Uh, anyway, all right, I'll be back. Yeah, I'm back downstairs. I was going to sort of push myself to get video edited today and catch up on my drawings and stuff, but I just don't have the energy, you guys. If you've had the vid, then you know like the extreme fatigue and stuff that comes with it is it's a thing it's a real thing and uh not being hungry it's just yeah anyway so we're laying down on the couch bob's upstairs in his office working um as well as he can He's just feeling the same as I am, so anyway, um, yeah, thanks, hubby, for sharing your germs, appreciate it, uh, all right, I'll be back. Five minutes of energy, so um, I started working on sorting all the bits and pieces for the Italy albums for my sister and my dad. Um, I'm out of energy now. And I printed one picture of Junior off for the Christmas tree. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, now I'm, now I'm pooped. All right, I'll be back. I will say we have the best neighbors. Um, so the husband, Nate, heard from his wife, Kat, that we have COVID. And they've had it, so they know what it feels like. Anyway. He brought up the garbage cans for us, didn't even ask, just brought them up, put them around back. Just, he's the, They're the sweetest people on the planet. Anyway, I need to go lay down now. <laughs> Again. Damn it, I left my water somewhere. COVID brain is a thing. Hey guys, I just thought I'd check in really quick. Yes, I'm upstairs in the art room for the, like, five minutes. I can manage it while I'm recovering from the vid. Um, Bob and I, for reference, have the I don't want to impose disease, so we tend to not ask for help for anything. Um, yeah, so I made the decision to ask if one of the kids could go pick up a few groceries for us, because that was even something we didn't want to do, but we're really feeling like, number one, we don't want to leave and expose anybody. We have a few days before we're allowed to do that. We're still not feeling good, and COVID fatigue is definitely a thing. Um, Bob's not even wanting to go to his Masonic meeting because he doesn't want to take a chance. So I messaged the kids, and daughter is going to go get us a few things that we're running out of, and then we don't have to worry about it. We do need somebody to go to Costco for us too, but it can wait another day or so, and yeah. Anyway, I ate some lunch even though it tasted funny, because yeah, that's also a real thing. And I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last up here in the art room. I might end up going back downstairs on the couch, so. 
<sighs> All right, I'll be back. Okay, while we still are not feeling 100%, we are allowed to leave the house if we wear a mask. Huh? Um, so we are gonna go get some groceries um, because we are uh, com almost completely out of some things or completely out of things. Um, the daughter ran out for us last night and got honey and a couple things, but um, Junior is, um, but he's got a cold, so he's sick. We haven't seen him in two weeks, so I hope it's not, I mean, I don't know how we could get him sick. We haven't seen him. It'll be two weeks on Thursday. Yeah, so. Tomorrow, yeah. Anyway, um, so we're gonna go and venture out. We're not happy about having to wear a mask, but if we're gonna do this, it's best to do it in the evening because it's the one time of the day right now that we have any amount of energy. So we're gonna go do that. We don't need a lot, but yeah, we're gonna go get it done and I'll be back. Hey guys. So as of last night, we're out of quarantine from the vid and uh, feeling better, but the fatigue and vertigo, it's a thing, man. Um, things are starting to not taste weird anymore, but that was a thing too. Um, we did manage to get all the Christmas decorations up today for the most part. Do they look good? Or does it look like Santa threw up in my yard? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> um, Bob is vacuuming while well, he's still feeling good. And then we might go try to run a couple errands. I'm not sure. It'll depend on how we're feeling. But so far, so better. So not 100%, but definitely better. I won't wish this thing on anybody. All right, I'll be back. We're in the car. We are in the car. Yeah. Your car. My car, yeah. We've been driving Taz when we do go out and we've had to um, only go out in an emergency and be masked up until like last night. And so this is the first time we've been out in a car and aren't worried about wearing a mask. We still have a couple of symptoms we're getting past, but we're not sick anymore. But anyway, I already told you all that. Um, we're gonna go try to get a couple of errands done that we haven't been able to really do since this whole thing started. So it's been at least two weeks, probably three since I checked the PO box. So we're gonna go do that. By the way, if you wanna send me happy mail, I love happy mail, but y'all never send me anything. <laughs> I do have a PO box. Um, or if you're a company and you want me to try your products, I do have a PO box. Address is in the video description. Anyway, we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go try to look for some stolen. Our favorite German Bavarian deli closed business permanently this last year. I'm guessing the owners retired or passed away and they couldn't find anybody to take over because uh, they were significantly older than we are. Um, which is sad because it was such a cute little place here in town. There are a couple more like in downtown Portland. I won't go there by myself. He has to go with me. I also was thinking, and I haven't said this to him yet, so we'll say it here on camera, that we could go, no, not to Germany, um, <laughs> to Mount Angel where we have the Oktoberfest. I bet you they have a German market over there because the whole town is like Bavarian German themed. So that might be a good like road day road trip. We'll see. Anyway, we're gonna get some stuff done. I'll be back. Hey guys, so one of the things we've been wanting to do, as I said, is find a new German jelly and market. German jelly? German jelly. <laughs> German deli and market. Okay. Um, especially over the holidays, um, we like to have some traditional food for my husband's side of the family. And um, I think we found it, Edelweiss sausage and delicatessen in Portland. I will link uh what i can find on them down below i know they have a yelp page but yeah really nice people super helpful they have a very good stock of stuff and what they don't have they can probably make for you or get for you we're really in downtown portland just in case you can get that um so we're gonna head towards home now make one more stop and then go home and have dinner but that was a good stop i'll be back all right guys We've been so sick. I don't even know if I cl <laughs> if I closed the vlog last week. I have no idea. Maybe I did. I don't know. You don't remember, dear? Nope. COVID brain is a thing, just FYI. Mm. At least in my opinion. Anyway, 
Uh, it's been an interesting couple of weeks. I wish the last of the after effects of having the vid would go away, but <sighs> nothing in life that's worthwhile happens quickly, I guess. So yeah. Anyway, we made it through. It's all good. And bonus, when we got home, the front of the house does not look like Santa Claus threw up. So I guess we did a decent job. I, I you know, it's not bad, I guess. Anyway, it's not bad. It's not bad. So if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Uh, we will be back to normal videos, hopefully soon. I do have some stuff I want to film. Hopefully we can get to it. I am fighting the fatigue and vertigo, but you know, it is what it is. So we'll make it work. Anyway, thank you for sticking with me. If you want to support the free content, join my Patreon. I do have one. They get regular posts from me uh, every month. They have ready access to conversations to me, not only in Facebook Messenger. Now there's one over in Patreon. So um, not that I've paid much attention to it because I've been sick with the vid, but you know, it, it is over there. Um, I'm working on some crochet projects, working on some cotton yarn. I've got stuff coming. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. The brain's on overload as usual. So I must be getting better. Anyway, support the free content. I'd appreciate it. Did I go off on a tangent? Of course I did. Anyway, <laughs> um, the most important thing is to, I hope you all had a happy holiday. If you celebrate Thanksgiving or something else, I hope you had a good one. We have Christmas um, and winter holidays for folks coming up. You may not celebrate Christmas, but you might celebrate Hanukkah or something else. I wish you all a happy one coming up. Celebrate and spend time with your family and your friends and the, your loved ones. Um, the most important thing is stay safe and stay healthy. Wash your hands. Uh, stay home if you're not feeling well. Just, you know, nobody wants us. They just really don't. So anyway, that's it for right now. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you do deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.